Hey. What's up? <laughs> so, uh, in this video, we are going over line and what that looks like in your drawing. You know, we were just kind of going off there for a second. Like, we were doing all sorts of step-by-step -step drawing tutorials. You know, we did one on the Great White and then, you know, the bird and a hammerhead and a frog. And I was like, whoa, hard stop because I want to teach you guys how to draw in charcoal with the three layered method from the ground up. So that's one of the reasons why the last couple of videos have been more lesson based, you know, lesson demo type structure versus the step-by-step -step drawing tutorials. So that like say in the future when we're doing another step-by-step -step tutorial and I say something along the lines of, oh, so we're gonna put a defined line right here and we're gonna make sure that we have a, a nice thin line quality You'll, you'll know, oh yeah, line quality, that's um, basically the relative thinness or thickness of a line. You know, you'll be able to kind of recall what things are. And I feel like it'll, you know, by making these lesson-based videos, it's only gonna help you guys understand the step-by-step -step drawing tutorials uh, more thoroughly. And so that's the, that's the hope. This video is going to be lesson and then a demo. So, let's do it. Okay, so to start, we need to ask ourselves, what does line actually mean in drawing? So understanding line in drawing. It's important to note here, first and foremost, that line has a uh, length, width, tone, and texture. It may divide space, define a form, describe a contour, or simply suggest direction. Now, there are different types of lines. So to start, the first line that you will be laying down in drawings is what's known as your contour line. And this is basically using line to define the edge or form, you've heard me say that a couple times, of an object. Simply put, it is used to create an outline of your drawing. Next up is the implied line. Now, in normal drawings, such as graphite, this occurs when you continue a line after a small break. And that line proceeds in the same direction. Now, with the three-layered method charcoal approach that I'm teaching you, it's important to note that your layered tones that form a line, so lighter tone and then a darker tone on top of that, that will create a very light line weight, and that also is an implied line. Now, the opposite of an implied line is, of course, a defined line. And defined lines occur when you continue a line without any break at all. You know, they typically have a mid to, to heavy line weight. Now, line quality is something that's very important. Line quality is the relative thickness or thinness of a line. And by simply varying the line quality, say with your pressure control, with your pencil, an artist can show form in a drawing with just the use of that line. And the last is your line weight. And this is what I was talking about with the implied line. Line weight is used to describe the strength of a line or how light or dark that line appears on your paper. If any of this is confusing, don't stress. We're going to jump into a demo. Okay, so to start, I'm going to be drawing the basic outline of an apple. And the line that we're using here is uh, our contour line. The contour line, as I said in the lesson, is used to define the uh, edge and uh, form of an object. So 
understanding this in application, what we're doing is we are using that contour line to identify the basic shape of the apple. And we're just going to solidify that. And then here, what we're doing is we're also using uh, contour lines to frame our basic shape. And this is one of those things where if you aren't framing your form in your drawings currently, maybe give this a try. Um, especially when it comes to the three layered method uh, and the charcoal approach that I teach, framing your outlines like this will only help you because it gives you a framework to work with. And not only that, but when it comes to just your outside contour of your object, you're only able to see it and thus work with it in a two-dimensional framework. But by doing this, by adding this three-dimensional framework, it gives you more to work with and it allows you to see that three-dimensional form before you lay it down and really bring it out with your charcoal. This, of course, is the contour line. Yes. And now what we're going to do here is I'm going to take some charcoal. I'm going to take some uh, soft charcoal with my brush. And I'm just going to start following these contour lines. I'm pulling the charcoal in the same direction that I have uh, framed my outline in. And what I'm doing here is I'm just basically giving this uh, some flesh, <laughs> if you will. I'm giving it some body so that we can start to better understand the drawing. And then here, I'm taking my mono zero eraser and I'm just cleaning this up. And this is one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent of don't worry about perfection, right? Especially in this step. When it comes to your contour line, you are totally not committed. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smudger. And I'm just going to build up some of these darker tones on the top and the bottom of this apple and the sides. This will play to that form for me. And I'll just give the skin some texture here real quick. But I really want to focus on the line work. And that's what this tutorial is all about. So I don't want to get carried away. But this is just to show you guys how easy it is once you have your 3D framework in place, how you can start to throw that charcoal around. And this here, if you look, that darker tone in front of that lighter tone, this is a prime example of an implied line with this approach. Let's we'll clean this up here a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a medium charcoal. I'm going to make sure my pencil is sharp. And I'm going to lay out a really nice defined line. I'm going to start off skinny and then I'm going to fatten this line up a little bit. Make sure I have that nice line uh, quality. Line quality is the relative thinness or thickness of a line. So this line here is a prime example of a defined line with this approach. And then here, as I was saying, is a prime example of line quality. We have uh, the relative thinness of the line up top and then the relative thickness of the line towards the bottom. And this plays to that form that I was talking about that you can convey simply with your line work. And then here when it comes to the line weight, this is the relative strength of the line, so this is a nice thin line. I hope this tutorial helped you better understand line work, and good luck in your future drawings.